Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're gonna learn It Must Have Been Love, the classic love song by Roxette. So first, I'm gonna play you the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note for note, chord for chord, with tabs right here as usual. So, it goes like this, enjoy. Okay, so this is a really great arrangement for beginners to learn, to challenge themselves with, because it is pretty basic overall. It only has D, G, E minor, okay? Basic chords. So even if you're a beginner, Hey, okay, try this, try this. You're gonna surprise yourself. So before we start, let me remind you of the guitar giveaway that's going on right now here on Lick and Riff. It's summer 2022, and it's the summer 2022 Lick and Riff guitar giveaway. This is the second year where I'm giving away a guitar. And this time it's a Blue Lava digital acoustic guitar. This is a fantastic guitar. And if you want to put your name in the raffle at the end of August I'm gonna raffle away this guitar and if you want to put your name all you have to do is to join my break your boundaries course program there is a special summer offer going on so check it out in the description it's over a hundred hours of premium guitar material designed to take you anywhere you want to go with your guitar and unleash your creativity and your skills on this beautiful instrument and when I say anywhere you want to go it is anywhere you want to go so check it out the link is below in the description the lick and riff guitar giveaway and the lick and riff summer special offer for joining my break your boundaries program so I can't wait to see you inside now put on a D chord and let's begin 
Okay. D. So you start with three and two on the first string. Okay, you can slide into the three. And then you have D. Okay, now any way you want to play it is fine as long as you're playing the second string because that's the next melody note. So. And then you have the third string on two. And then you have a G chord with the second string as your melody. And then you're playing the melody again, okay? Three, two on the first string, three on the second string while playing G, okay? So that's a really nice sound because you get, you get a G major seven sound there. So you have G. Okay, it's still G. And then you have, okay, you have must have been love, that ethereal sound with the singer in the background. So it's D again with two, 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 hammer on to three, two on the first round. Okay, so. Okay, again, any way, any way you wanna play the chord is just fine. Okay, try out different styles and different arpeggios and different block chord types and different rhythm patterns. Okay, be creative. And then after D, you have... Okay, you have three on the second string and two on the first, which is inside a D chord. Okay, and then you have G with three, two on the first and three on the second. And that's the intro. So once again, D, G, still G, and then D, and then G. Now you have the verse, okay? Lay the whisper, so. Now there are two ways to play this. The simple way, and the slightly more expressive way. Okay, so I suggest you try both. The simple way, this is going to D again. So it's tuple off to zero, zero on the first string. Okay, and then you have the D chord with three on the second string. Okay, three on the second string. The more expressive way is tuple off to zero and then slide to five on the second string. And then you play the D chord. Okay, so my trick here is to play the D bass first and then the chord with three on the second string. Okay, so that's the slightly more expressive way. So try both ways. And then you have basically the same line. Okay, so you can play the other way around. Okay, if you played the expressive way, play the simple way. If you played the simple way, play the expressive way. Okay, now the only difference is I'm hammering on the two on the first string when this line begins. Okay, just for effect. And then you have the hammer onto two zero zero again with G. Now, this time, this is a G with three on the second string. Okay, so it's. And then you have. So it's three, two again on the first string. And then you have an A chord with the open first string. And again, any way you want to play it is fine. Now, I create a kind of a, a counterpoint feel sort of a you know a fake counterpoint by playing okay by playing the chord separately from the melody okay but it really doesn't matter how you play it okay i can even skip the two okay and play the chord with the open e string again try your own way it's a simple song there are many ways you can play it and then Okay, you have the D line again. And then 
it's three on the second string, zero two on the first. And then you have G with three on the first and then three on the second. Okay, so you can play, you know, the full G with three and three. And then you, there's no problem. I just like the, the staccato sound. I like the single note sound, so. So I don't mind if I'm not hearing them together. But again, that's just me. Now, um, tuple off to zero again on the first string, and then two slide to three with E minor. Okay, so E minor, in case you're new to lick and riff, in finger style, E minor can be played just like this. Strings one, two, three, and the sixth string. So, okay, now you can do it like this, or you can slide to five on the second string. Okay, just for expression. Okay. Um, and then you have two on the first string, three on the on the second, and A again. So let's recap to this point. D. D again. G. A. D again. G. Okay, E minor. Okay, you can play five on the second string. And then A. Then you have zero two on the first string and you bar the second fret. Okay, because you need B minor now. Okay, so this bar will prepare you for it. So zero two, you bar and then you put on the rest of the chord and you play the chord. B minor, okay? Three on the second string, that's a melody. And then, okay, you lift the bar, you still have B minor on, you just lift the bar and you play strings two, one, two, okay, on three, one, three. And then you have five on the first string with D. So you play it with D. Or with D5 which is five, three, and two, okay? It's the D chord with the addition of the A note. Zero, two on the first, and then three on the second with G, and then A, any way you wanna play the A chord. Chorus, zero, two, three, five into that D5 chord. Then I do this. Okay, I slide to 11 on the third string. And then I play 10 on the first string with D. And then 10 on the second string. And then I take my little finger and I play seven slide to five on the first string and then the G bass, and then three on the first string. Okay, it sounds complicated, but it's not that complicated. Okay, it's not, uh, you know, it's not a jazz chord. It's a doable, single note, slow love song. Okay, so give it a try, even if it scares you. Okay, look at my fingers. And then okay. if you need to practice this just practice this movement okay. and then you have okay. it's three on the second string zero two on the first and then E minor with three so open strings okay with three and then three hammer on to five on the first string then you have B minor again so okay you have B minor strings one and then two 
and then the open first string with A. Okay, so you can play the first string and then play the A chord. So. Okay, you can play the chord after the note. Okay, you don't have to make it hard for yourself. Okay, make it interesting. So. Again. You see, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't absolutely clean. Okay, the note cut off at the end. Who cares? Who cares? As long as you're enjoying yourself, whoever listens to you will enjoy too. Okay, my playing is far from perfect and I, I could care less. Okay, solo. Okay, there's a solo break. You have the, uh, it must have been love line again. And then, okay, up to 10 on the second string and then A minor. 5-5-5 five, five, five with the A string. And then it's 5-3-2. And then you have a D chord with 0-2 on the first string and 3 on the second. So again, A minor. Zero on the first, three on the second, and then you have this. Okay, this is a brilliant compositional achievement. This chord, and I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, this is two on the first string, three on the fifth string, and you're playing strings one, three, and five. Now, this chord is a Lydian chord. This is C sharp 11. This is C sharp 11. Suddenly, out of context, it doesn't sound really good, right? Sounds like a mistake. But that's the genius of this song. That's the genius of this composition. That it makes a Lydian chord sound absolutely on point. So... So you have two, three, zero on the first string. And then you have E minor. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's two, three on strings one and two. Okay, on E minor. Okay. And then you have A with hammer on to two on the first string, three on the second, and then the open E string again. So it's E minor. Okay, with A. And then E minor again. Okay, two and three again on strings one and two. And then you have this, but with C. Okay, again, it's brilliant. And then you have, okay, it's um, it's a D chord again with two three two zero two, two three two zero two on the first string, and then three on the second string, and then you just play an A chord, okay? So it's okay or if you want to hammer on and pull off, and then A, okay, and then you play the chorus again. So have fun. The link for the tab, the tab is for free. The link is below in the description. Check it out while you're there. Check out the summer offer for enrolling in my Break Your Boundaries course program and start breaking your boundaries on this beautiful instrument as well as adding your name to the guitar giveaway raffle and you might win the Blue Lava digital acoustic guitar at the end of August. So um, I will see you inside the Break Your Boundaries program. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, I will see you again the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.